So you finished your little picture and you go, darn, I don't like that. I don't like the way it looks. So what's nice about encaustic painting is that whether it's right away next week or 10 years from now, you can change this painting and just by remelting the wax. So let's do that. Let's just change this whole look of this picture. I think I'll add a little bit more wax onto my iron. And at this point, it doesn't really matter what kind of colors you put on. I'm just going to add wax toward the bottom of the picture here and see I'm sliding that wax up with the edge of the iron. Okay. Now I'm going to make a ridge of wax right there. Now I've got some wax to work with and actually because of that ridge of wax, you could create pictures with horizontal lines or you could move that into, uh, let's say, mountains. Now you notice the iron dripping over here. What you're going to have to remember to do is to take your Kleenex and burp your iron every once in a while. This little crack in the back will uh, catch a lot of wax. And if you don't burp the iron, by golly, just in the middle of your painting, you're going to have a nice big burp and you're going to be <laughs> starting all over again. But let's take some extra wax here. Now add it on the front and let's turn this into some mountains. Let's just push this up. Let's do this. Let's push this up and make some mountains and just see what we can totally recreate this picture. Add a little uh, wax on the iron here. Come around and swoop down here. Come back, lift up a couple times like that. And here we go. We've totally changed this little picture with a totally different look. And that's what's so nice about wax painting is this flexibility that you have.